Hey, Marco. Hey. Hey, there you are. What are you doing? Oh, I just figured I'd get a head start on the fence. Okay. How's everybody doing? Welcome back. This is part two. We're shooting part two today. So, um, while we had some visitors, I figured I'd come out here and just start working on it, and it works. So, just to, I hadn't told you yet either. Um, so we, I plugged, I got my ground, I tested the hot, placed it on the ground, and we got 7,000 volts. This is just a cheap one that they they gave, or part of the the fencing project that we bought, and it was flashing 7,000. We're not going to be able to see it today, even in the shade, I can barely see it. Um, so the next thing we need to do is test the fence. We also had a theory that, so this is pretty much all one strand connected. Um, a couple rolls that we used, we linked them together, but it's all one continuous um, strand. I think that's okay to use. Um, so far, I think it's gonna work. Um, so we only need one. We don't need to connect each one to the hot. So we're gonna also try that. So that's all we gotta do right now. Just hook it up and see if we, we got an electrical fence. definitely working there all right so we have to get into some shade here there you go all right we got we got it there we should get it here yeah All right, we got an electrical fence, folks. So there you have it. We have it charged up. So the rest of this video is gonna be us getting things ready to go. Um, we're gonna train our goats to this electrical fence. And it's gonna be a little bit kind of sad. Hopefully nobody is disturbed by it, but we watched a few videos on how to do it. And the one that I think is the most, most ethical is to actually intentionally lead them to the fence and let them get shocked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some hay on the ground. We're gonna lead them out one by one, maybe two at a time, just because we, um, it's me and, Mer me and Rochelle. We're gonna bring them up, try to get them to feed and try to bump it and let them get hit to let them know that this fence is, is a pain. So that's our goal versus them just all of a sudden letting them roll around. And then if you don't know goats, they like to push against things. So the first time they push against this, they're gonna get a big shock versus just a little quick little zap. So that's our plan. Uh, stay tuned for that. We'll try to show you it. We might try it first, just to see how it works before we actually film. But let's, uh, we'll stop it there and hopefully you guys will see the rest of the project and then get to see them roaming around in their new uh, pasture, if you will. So thanks for tuning in. Hey babe, so, all right. So we're gonna try Daisy. We had a little setback. We think we might've figured it out. We rehooked up a hot wire so that way 7,000 volts is getting through. We tried Sunny Girl and she got shocked, but she actually jumped through. So we're going to try try Daisy. You want to grab that? <laughs> She's not liking you. Oh, she got shocked. She's not liking it. Yeah, she's not liking it. So I think that was it. We were only getting about four to five thousand volts on the bottom wire. So we put the other wire, that hot wire, to the power unit, and that got us seven thousand plus on this end to here. So I think that worked. We're gonna try another one. We'll see how it works and we'll go from there. 
Come here, Sunny. Go. That's what we were needing. I know. That was bad. You don't want this good stuff here? Come here. So maybe we got that one. Alright, let's go. Really? Did she know? It's almost like she didn't get hit. Now she got hit. She did, she pulled a sunny. Oh gosh! <laughs> hey guys all right so it's probably been about about two hours now an hour and a half and everything's looking pretty good they're enjoying their time um we've had we've watched them approach the fence and and touch it and so far they get hit and they they back away the one problem we're having though is this. Our dogs go right through it and they don't care. They're like honey badgers, they don't care. So we weren't trying to keep our dogs out of this area, but I'm hoping that they don't give the girls the idea that they can go through. They're able to sneak in between the fence fencing without getting hit or it's very mild. So I think we're working right now. We're gonna keep an eye on them. We're going to uh, watch them for the next hour or two. We'll probably get them back into the barn for the evening time and and let's see what they can do to uh, clear some of the weeds out in this area. So far, they're they're doing a good job. So there we are for today. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys on the next go around. <laughs>